Hey you guys, it's Stacy Shirell. Thank you so oh wow. Thank you. There's a sun in my face. Whatever. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Y'all, um, I have dry socket. I got dental extractions. But yeah, um, before we start, make sure you go check out Stacy Stacy 2020. Go um join the campaign and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go check out the comment section and the description box below. I had a sweet sister in Christ. Um, shout out to her. Um, she wanted me to do another uh, topic about fathers. So with the help of the Holy Spirit, um, we're going to talk about dads. I feel like there's a lot of healing that God wants to do with... Hold on, let's swing it up. I have a cinnamon roll from Panera Bread. I'm very excited to eat. Anyway, I have a feeling that God wants, he wants to um, forgive your father. Maybe your father had a mental illness. Um, maybe he had another family. Maybe he treated a different a sibling better than you. Maybe he just wasn't there. Maybe he couldn't just love you the way you want to be loved. Maybe he cheated on your mom. Maybe he abused you. Maybe you just never knew. Maybe he just didn't make the time. But whatever it is, forgive your father. God said they're lacking. Not giving an excuse to what they did, but they're lacking themselves. They're lacking themselves. You need to pray for your father if they're still alive. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them if they hurt you. Pray for them. God's going to bless you. God raised you up to heal them. Isn't that something? You came from them, but God's going to use you to heal them. And we get our identity from our father. Yes, God, we get both our, but I truly believe most of our blood, our most of our DNA comes from our father. Yes, our mother as well. But me personally, even spiritually, I believe it's like 50-40. 50-40. It could even be a little bit more because we carry our father's last name and but don't get me wrong the mother is important like to, totally like with abraham um it was all abraham but it had to be through sarah when it was with hagar it did not work you know what i mean but he was still blessed because he was abraham's son so but men carry so much weight they carry the identity and that's why we're most of us are so messed up because we didn't have that masculine man we didn't have that man our father to bestow identity upon us the father is supposed to be but because they don't even know how to do that for themselves most of the time they didn't have their identity that's why it's so imperative you know to not become a father before your time through premarital premarital sex or whatever even if you're married and you feel like you're just not ready to be a father go through that work um because you don't want to injure, injure your child because emotional scars are deep. And maybe you're that father who has kids and you won't, you may be that father who's messed up, but I'm here to tell you today's a new day. And you may be thinking, oh my, I, I, I did too much. Well, just surrender to God. Just confess your faults to the Lord and say, I need your help, Abba. I wanna get back in my child's life. And don't try to pry your way. Just God will give you, God will give you the wisdom of what to do. And maybe you're, uh, no offense, but maybe you have a, a quote-unquote baby mom. Maybe that your child's father, you know, speaking terms. You have some type of animosity that you don't want the child to see the father. And I get it, but, like, you're going to injure that child more. Like, it's not about you and their relationship. It's about that child. And if that man's not putting that child in harm's way, you need to let them see their father. And like I said... I can't imagine your pain. I'm not judging at all because I'm not in that situation. But I know it'd be, it'd be for best. And fathers, tell your daughters how much you love them, how how beautiful they are. Hold them. Tell them they're so special. Like they they, because it's like if you don't love yourself, you can't even tell your daughter that you love them or that you're beautiful. You're you're pretty because you don't even. You don't even see yourself as worthy. So how can you project that onto your child? So I just want you to know that um, 
God is for you. Um, you don't have to be ashamed. And do something right now that maybe send a birthday card to your father. Maybe call them up. Maybe go visit. And maybe um, and if your father has passed away, there's still time, you know. And what I'm saying is you have time to get it right. Maybe you can go be a father to somebody else. You can still let them go. Sometimes we still can have unforgiveness to someone who's dead, you know. Just don't be afraid to get on your knees and say, Abba, help me. And he will. For you guys, I know it's gross, but I'm going to go rinse my mouth out with salt water because it is burning. But, um, yeah, I hope, I'm glad that you like this video topic, and I'll talk to y'all later. Alright, bye!